Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be going over a problem from Evan Chan's new book, 2016 edition, uh, Euclidean Geometry uh, book for Math Olympians. Um, this question I saw it in the second chapter under the power of a point. In short, I would highly recommend Evan Chan's book, 2016 edition book, which is sold at Mat Mathematical Association of America website. The textbook, I believe, costs $28 if you would like to buy the PDF edition. And it's easy to navigate through your computer. You can use an iPad or your personal computer to read the book. Um, so going back to this question, so we are told that A, D, B, E, and C, F are the three altitudes of our scale and triangle. You can see the foot of these altitudes here. Let me also clearly mark that these are 90 degree angles here. Also, the circumcenter of our triangle is O. O is the intersection of perpendicular bisectors of the side lengths. We would like to prove that the circumcircle of triangles AOD, BOE, and COF, those three circles which I already drawn here on this picture, intersect at a point X other than the point O. Obviously, O is common for these three um, circles, but we would like to also prove that those three circles also go through that point X here. So, before I start with my proof, I would like to prove a lemma, uh, a, a kind of a, a simple step first, that would, I believe, help you understand what's going on in this question and the special nature of the orthocenter and the power of the orthocenter with respect to some, some circles. So, obviously, we have um, these three altitudes here. In this picture, there is at least six uh, cyclic quadrilaterals. Let me list them. Three of them are, um, um, so you can think of A, F, H, E. Huh? A, F, H, E. Obviously, then we have B, D, H, F. B, D, H, F. And C, E, H, D. C, E, H, D are cyclic because you can see those opposite angles adding up to 180 degrees. And in each occasion, you can see that, for instance, the diameter for this case would be AH, the diameter of this one would be BH, and so on. So the diameter for this one would be CH, because they are subtended by these 90 degree angles. In addition, in addition to these three cyclic quadrilaterals, we have three other cyclic quadrilaterals, namely, uh, those, uh, so notice this 90 degree angle here, another 90 degree angle here. So let me write those down actually. Angle AEB is equal to angle ADB, which is 90 degrees. Then we can conclude that this implies uh, that quadrilateral AEDB is also cyclic. And the diameter in that case, uh, diameter would be the side AB. AB, I should say. So AB is the diameter. You have a cyclic quadrilateral. Uh, you have a circle which goes through that as well. So let me go ahead and highlight that circle. So probably a circle like that. So um, something like that. Uh, also, in a similar way, it's not too difficult to show that we have another circle here. Um, namely, uh, so um, it would be BFEC will be also cyclic. Though due to those 90 degree angles here. So, so probably something something like that. So I'm messing up with my picture here. No good. So let's just clean it up a little bit. Um, I, uh, I would personally clean this one a little bit here and here as well. Okay. And finally, the third one, let's have it maybe red color here. So I will have AFDC. So that would be the large one actually. So um so something that's a huge one. Oh, the wrong color so let's save it the red one so something like i can't even have it so and it will go through well the diameter will be the c so that huge red circle as well but what i'm interested in is the power of point h with respect to these circles now notice that let's start with the power of the point H with respect to, let's have these um, circles as omega yellow, omega green, uh, probably I don't want to write it over here, obviously, huh? 
that's not a good idea. Um, oops. Uh, let's call this one as omega green. So I'm color coding that and then omega red. So the, obviously the power of H with respect to the yellow circle, uh, omega yellow, is equal to AH times HD. AH times HD. But again, with respect to the same yellow circle, it's also equal to BH times HE. BH times HE. In a similar way, the power of a po our point with respect to, let's say, the green circle of the orthocenter, with respect to the green circle, BH times HE, BH times HE, is simply equal to uh, uh, CH times HF, CH times HF. But then combining these two results, it in, this immediately implies that the power uh, of the point H with respect to these three circles is actually equivalent. It is AH times HD, but at the same time it's equal to BH times HE, and at the same time it is equal to CH times HF. So that implies that those three quantities are actually equal. Now I can go back to my previous uh, drawing to the original drawing of the question so so far let me bring that result from the previous page i know that a h times h d is equal to b h times h e which is equal to c h times um, h f now, now focus on the circumcircle a o d a o d notice that on that circle point h Wow, so HA times HD, wow, so that's that actually works for that circle. Huh? So I'm talking about, let me highlight it here, this yellow highlighted circle here. Notice that the power of H with respect to this circle is nothing but HA times HD. So the power of our point H with respect to AOD, that one is equal to H. Uh, I should have said AH times HD. But then, uh, when I focus on, uh, say, this triangle here, let's say the green triangle, the circle, I should say, this green circle here, uh, namely the, uh, so the, the circumcircle of DOE, um, then in that case, notice that the power of H is simply BH times HE. So when I focus on BOE, I realize that the power of BOE, I mean, uh, of H with respect to BOE is nothing but BH times HE. But wait a second, we have already proven that these identity, these equality conditions hold. So therefore, the power of H with respect to the circumcircle of AOD and BOE must be equal. So how wonderful is that? So, therefore, uh, so the power of H being equal, it means that, let's assume for now that the yellow and the green circles, the circumcircles of AOD and BOE, let's assume they, we already know they are intersecting at point O, but let's assume the second intersection is point X. Now, what this result tells me, AH, the power of these two, the, the power of H being equal with respect to both circles, it means that H must be on the radical axis, of these two circles, but the radical axis of these two circles is simply the line XO. Eh? So therefore, this proves that H is in fact on this line OX. Now that's that's wonderful. Now in order to conclude the proof, notice also that the power of H with respect to the circumcircle of COF. So let's have a look at the circle. Uh, COF, the circumcircle of that, the power of um, oops, H, which with respect to the circumcircle uh, of uh, COF, that's simply equal to, huh? we already know that uh, it goes through C and F, that circle, so therefore the power of H must be CH times HF, CH uh, times um, HF. But wait a second. So, what do we know so far about that circle? We know that that circle goes through O, that third circle, 
let's let's actually go ahead and color it let's say we color it blue highlight it blue color okay so so far uh, let, let, let me revise it so far i don't know if it goes through x it's wishful thinking actually so we hope that it goes through f but okay so we have this cir circum circle of c o f but it has power c h times h f but i know that it already goes through the point o and notice that c h times h f is the power of h with uh, the, the power of h with respect to that circle and we know this number is equal to bh times he again from the analysis we did earlier in the problem so therefore the radical axis of the green circle and the uh, say the blue circle is well it's it is the line oh so oh is the radical axis but i know oh goes through the point x so that's where the so green circle intersects the axis OH. Therefore, it must be that the blue one also passed through that point. It cannot intersect the, uh, the, the radical axis at another point because that's where the green circle intersects it. It must be that the blue circle also intersects it at this point. So that solves our problem. Hope to see you in our next video.